So guys, we didn't made it back to the house. So most of the time, horses that I'm uh, training on, very seldom do I just unsaddle them after a ride. A lot of times I either leave them standing before the ride or standing after, especially after because, lit, leave it. Especially after because I want them to uh, just sit there and think about everything that went on. I mean, if, if they do think about what I did and why I did it, hey, lit, I will whoop you. Q, come away from there, son. Uh, like I was saying, I wanted to just stand there and just think about the ride because on the way home, when she got by the gate, oh, she started trying to act up. So, so we had to go on past the, the gate and we had to go work on some things and turn around and come back. Uh, I never, like I said, I never put these horses up on their terms. I never put them up doing something bad. We're gonna finish on something good. Hey, get over here. Come here, Q. You being hard-headed, man. Get over here, down. Down. Blue, get over here. Q, down. Q, if I ask you again, I'm gonna slap you. Lit, down. Good, Blue. Bulls over there, down, and Dina went on in her pit. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, I'm not gonna put them up on their terms. Uh, I'll let her stand tied. I loosened up the uh, gird on her. I'll let her stand tied while I do the rest of my chores and let her think about the ride. Then uh, I'll unsaddle her, give her a quick little brushing off. Uh, I tell you guys all the time during the training period, man, I'm not big on grooming them. You know, I'll go through the motions but I'm not big on grooming them. Uh, hey, Lit, get over here, down. Lit, down. Lit, down. Good girl, good. I'm not worried about leg boots right now and all that. Uh, I wanna get a horse riding. That's more important to me than, 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 than anything. And then, once they get to riding and being responsive, then, Oh boy, that's when the grooming to start. I'll cut them a bridle pipe, clean those ears out, cut those hairs off the fetlocks, go to brushing on her, put her some splint boots on. Uh, but but they gotta earn all that over here, man. So again, this is after the ride. I just wanted to share this information with you guys. Uh, for the ones that are following me in, in this process of rehabilitating Darlin. And, and I tell you guys, man, each day or each time I ride her, you know, she, she just tells me more and more about herself, tells me more about her previous owners, previous trainers. And uh, I have to be consistent. I have to be firm, but at the same time, I'm trying not to get excited. Uh, I try not to uh, go to punishing her because she don't know. So, so I'm very patient with her, you know, but at the same time, I'm firm, you know? And, and that's why you see the, uh, the little blood on, on, on her side from the spurs, you know? She kept wanting to step into, the, into me on the left side. I kept asking her to get off my leg, she won't. So, so that's not just me touching her with the spurs. That's actually, that, that, that spot is probably from the time that I've started riding her. She's very touchy with these, with, well she, she's, she just don't yield to pressure and get off pressure yet. But she's learning. Q! Oh, that's not Q. Good boy. My bad, man. I thought that was you, man. Blue, down, son. Good boy. Hey, it's okay. Let these guys move around. But anyway, uh, lit. 
You're going to get a, a, a kick to the head. But anyway, guys, so I'm just bringing you along this process with me rehabilitating, darling. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm out. Thank you.